Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to cover the Messages window. So the Messages window is where Pointwise provides feedback of various types during the grid generation process. And in fact, when you launch Pointwise, you already have two info messages that have been printed. The first about the right to use license agreement, the second information about your customer ID, as well as the expiration date of your license. In addition to that, we can go ahead and enable other types of messages by right clicking, going to the preferences pull right, and toggling on different message types like the script, info, warning, error, debug, journal, as well as timestamp. We're going to talk about journal a little, in a little bit. Let's go ahead and create some entities in the display window so you can see the types of messages that are being reported. So I'm going to go ahead and create a few connectors out here in the display window. And why don't we go ahead and dimension them as well. Give them a dimension of five and we'll create a domain. And you'll notice that each one of those actions is being reported to the messages window. We can see that connectors have been created, they've been dimensioned, and a domain has been created as well. But one of the really cool things are the hyperlinks that are selectable. So if I click on this hyperlink, it's gonna select that entity in the display window, assuming I have the appropriate mask selected. So for example, we've just created one domain. I can go ahead and click on that hyperlink and that domain will be selected and I can go off and perform an additional operation on that domain if I needed to. Now I mentioned journaling. Let's go ahead and toggle journaling on and I'll go ahead and create a couple more connectors. And you'll notice the glyph commands are actually being reported to the messages window as I'm creating various entities and performing actions in the software. This can be really handy if you're learning how to use glyph scripting. If you're really familiar with Pointwise and how to make entities in the display window and you just want to know what glyph commands are being executed, you can just go ahead and perform those operations in Pointwise and report those to the messages window and you can clearly see the glyph calls that are being made. You could then select those journal commands, right click, you could save them to a file, you could copy them, you could copy just the journal output, clear the messages window or select all. And that is the messages window in Pointwise. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And if you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.